Without further ado, let's get into the five things that I wish somebody would have told me before starting my software engineering career. So if you don't know me, my name is Rami Pruitt. I'm a software engineer at a fan company. I started my career at Fisk University with my computer science degree, went on to Cornell to get my master's in computer science. I've got interns with companies like Google, Dell, and yeah, I've, I've basically been everywhere as a contractor, started all the way from the bottom, making 50K, all the way to working at Twitch, which is owned by Amazon, um, and making 190 at that time. And so, excuse me, guys, my, my eye is twitching, but yeah. I've had a really great career and honestly, sometimes I still feel like it's not good enough because I made a lot of mistakes. I feel like I could have been here a lot faster. And so hopefully with me telling you what these five things are, I can speed up your career. I can help you make less mistakes than I did. And so number one, I would say business. If you want to be a software engineer, if you want to work at Google and you want to maximize the most money that you can make in your career, you have to understand that business is greater than computer science. What do I mean by that? Computer science, like when I first learned how to program, let me see if I can fix this Twitch in mind. When I first started learning how to program, I fell in love with the solving of riddle part of it. I fell in love with like spending weeks and weeks, no, not having any deadlines, just mentally straining myself in order to solve a problem that way that I learned it. And in the real world, that would be, you know, in, in the business world, excuse me, that is the complete opposite way that we go about solving problems. We have to get things in at a speedy pace in order to continue to provide value for our customers and uh, earn their trust. If you see Facebook, where I guess meta now, right? They have a saying, it goes, done is better than perfect. And that is so true in business. Like when something is done, we can optimize it later. We can perfect it later. But if we wait for perfection, it will never get to where, you know, we could run out of business before we ever perfect, um, before we ever perfect what we need to perfect. And so, yeah, I, I felt like programming was about like solving these amazing problems and like, and always coming up with these like really genius solutions. Like maybe we'll see in during later where we watch in the movies where like, a hacker just comes or some genius program comes up with this algorithm and it saves the day. That's just not how it works in reality. Sometimes <laughs> we gotta we gotta build it as we fly it, as they say. And so number two, something that I really wish somebody would have told me as I was making more money across my career is that the more money comes more problems. And what I mean by that is that um, everybody likes the idea of being able to what is like make money and have the best title in a company but with that title comes more responsibility you get pulled the more senior you get you get pulled into more disaster projects you get pulled, you get blamed first when things get all wrong and you are, you can hide less. You're, you're the first person they want to fire because you're making the most money. And so it takes having all that pressure on your head, right? Let's say I, I just had an interview with Coinbase and this recruiter was trying to get me to go up for their senior software engineer position. And I looked up online, how much does a senior at Coinbase makes? Allegedly, I don't work that on up. But um, 
allegedly they make like 400k and as you can imagine i would love to make that money i would absolutely love to be to make 400k a year but i understand i'm not ready for that i consider myself more of a mid-level software engineer maybe in the next two to three maybe even four years i'll be functioning like a senior depending on the current state of uh ai and all that whatever but yeah it's just i don't want to i don't want to skip any steps anymore right when i was a software engineer you know i had this i thought my ivy league degree was going to you know put me make me get all this money and and i could i wouldn't have to work as hard as the people who started at day zero but um for all the theory that I got taught in school, it's not the same. It's not the same thing as actually working a job. And so, yeah, it's it's. I, I told that recruiter, no, I don't want to go for that position. I don't even want to waste your time. If that's what you guys are looking for, if you're looking for a senior, um, then. You know, I'll allow you to go find somebody else that maybe fits that qualification better. And I think that's so mature of me in my career to say no. Like, say, uh, bonus tip, say no more. Like, that's a more senior trait. Like, don't allow people to push you into things before you're ready. Because um, if you say yes, they're holding you completely accountable. But, yeah, that's number two. Number three, I would say... Thing is overrated. What you really want, the thing that you want more than the like money and status and easy life is financial freedom. I have, I guess, a mentor in my YouTube game, and he talks about how he makes 10 grand a day sometimes when it's peak season in YouTube. And that's way more money than I'll ever make in a day as a senior software engineer at Netflix, at Google, doesn't matter. That's what you really want. And this guy, he can work, he doesn't necessarily have to work eight, 10 hours. Well, some days he's working 12 hours a day, right? Some days he's working 10 hours a day. And then other days he's chilling, right? I'm not gonna tell you that this life is without suffering, right? Even though it's making the money. I would say that I've had friends that are principal engineers at Google or technically staff, right? And even they get upset with the the politics that they have to go through and how much a company is your ball and chain in your desires. And so once you go to a company, you have to play their game. You have to play the political game a bit. I'm not saying that you can't get through without your talent, but there will always be a component of politics of are you the guy that looks like the guy, not are you the guy that's actually doing the work? Sometimes it's do you look like, does it look like on paper, does it look like you're leading things? And so... Yeah, I would say, you know, after the free food and the video games and, you know, the trips, after that's all said and done, um, what you really want is to be free. So, yeah, wish I wouldn't have spent. uh, But yeah, that's it on that. Bang is overrated. Please, if you get a great opportunity, if you are a hustler you work hard you're a great leader if you're developing yourself every day you don't need fame uh fame needs you and so number four i'm not even recording my points number four i would say is that go deep not wide i think i spent a long long portions of my career just learning everything right getting a little bit of c plus plus getting a little bit of web development getting a little bit of mobile development getting a little bit of a uh, blockchain but um what's better than 
getting a little bit of everything is going deep on one subject. Imagine if you have a portfolio of different websites that you've made over the last three to four years where you've hooked it up with a back end. That is a whole lot better than knowing a little bit about everything. And so I think, and maybe this is part of me as a, as a, what is the word? My intelligence, I really enjoy learning a little bit of everything, but in order to be helpful to a company, you have to master things. It's way better to be somebody in the company that's an expert that we can count on and be knowledgeable about a certain subject than to be able to switch to different teams. And so I would say, if you are studying something right now, set plans to study it for the next one and a half, two, three years, if you can, and go deep into that subject. If that's web development. Like I've seen people who are just masters of Python be able to make websites extremely fast, build them for clients, and then go on. And so I think that is a stronger, and then you learn more about business too, which brings me back to my point number one. And so, yeah, if you, I know it's extremely hard to find something that you want to be a specialist in, right? Like even to this day, I don't know if I, if I, there's many things that, I, that I'm curious about in computer science. I don't know if there's anything I want to dedicate the next 10 years of my life to. However, if you can figure out that one thing you want to be the best on the planet, then I that is that is way better than um, doing what I did, which took me a long time to become a master of a lot of different things. But at the end of the day, when you're a software engineer, you have to like you have to be masters of many different things. Like there's never a chance where you have to, when you can use one programming language to make a, a product. Many times you have to use many. Still, um, be more focused on one thing. And so number four, I would say experience is king. Experience is greater than university. I met guys that got the same job as me at Twitch and they had, they dropped out of college. And so what that showed, and these same guys, right? I met guys who did not even get a computer science degree. They've been working at just for two years and they're a way better help than me on the team just because they have experience solving the problems they need to solve on the team. And so for this, I would say going experiences is, is, is a lot better than university. Of course, getting that opportunity is tough. However, yeah, if you can, if you are a self-taught programmer and you don't want to go to school, that is okay because there's a, still a lot of opportunity out here for you, especially if you can get get great experience and so yeah i would i would keep going in that direction and then let me see i would guess yeah i want to just say number five is just focus on being a leader being a leader i I feel like when I was young, I wanted to be a programmer because I wanted to be away from people. And that's because I was a shy introvert, a shy introverted nerd or whatever. But that is that style of play is not conducive to business. What I have found on my team is it's almost like being on a basketball team, you know, working together, solving problems, dealing with people who are selfish. These things are important. Learning how to influence people and bring the best out of them. That is tough. And it's what you need in business. Teams are filled with people who, or when you're, when you're on a coding team, it's almost, you get thrown in the problems. You're in the NBA, right? You, you get faced with problems and competitors and you have to 
overcome them as a team and no one person is greater than everybody. I feel like I've been on great teams where I really trust everybody on my team and I've been on people on, I've been on teams where I felt like everybody was selfish and they were just trying to get the check. And so, yeah, it is a journey and being a leader is so much more important than you could even believe. Like once you become a senior software engineer, you don't even, you don't even code, which is insane, right? Like when I thought like being a programmer, like a senior, the one that is the highest is like solving the most problems, but no, like as you grow up, go up the company ladder, it's more about your leadership ability. So just want to say being a great leader is, is super important and underrated. So yeah, if you follow these tips, I promise you, you'll have a, a much better career um, as well as, you know, work hard, be disciplined, focus on your, on, on going deep, you know, don't worry about fame and the money. It'll come eventually. And yeah, be careful about the opportunities that you take because you don't want to step into things before you're ready. More money, more problems. And then business. Learn business. Like, and I don't know, I don't know where you can get that experience, but if you get into a new opportunity, you know, don't be trying to optimize and use the binary sort, uh, binary search or whatever. Learn the business, learn the product, learn what the customers need, learn how you're solving the problem already. Those are the questions that I will be asking like when I join it, uh, a new team, if I join a new team. But yeah, um, thank you so much for listening to my five things that I wish somebody would have told me in my career. Let me know in the comments. Does this resonate with you? Do you disagree with anything that I've said? Do you have any tips for me? <laughs> I would really appreciate it. But Peace.